a coronavirus vaccine trialed by University of Oxford researchers aims to get the efficacy results by September and manufacturing is already underway. A team led by Sarah Gilbert, a professor of vaccinology, has recruited 500 volunteers from the ages of 18 to 55 for the early and the mid-stage randomized control trial. It will be extended to the older adults and then to a final stage trial of 5,000 people. And Gilbert said that the timing is ambitious but achievable. Volunteers to take part in the trial have been abundant and she said that it is no layer accepting new subjects. Gilbert, whose research on vaccines, it began at the University of Oxford in 1994, which was awarded £2.2 million or £2.8 million grant from the UK's National Institute for Health Research and UK Research and Innovation in March to scale up her team's effort to move into the COVID-19 vaccine research. The group's environmental immunization is any of the first to enter the clinical trials. The World Health Organization counts 70 vaccine candidates in development with the three others in human testing. They are from the Consino Biological Inclusive, the Beijing Institute of Biotechnology, Innovia Pharma Tactical Inclusive, Moderna Inclusive, along with the National Institute of allergy and infectious diseases. Gilbert's trial divides 510 participants into five groups that will be observed for about six months with the option for a follow-up visit about a year after entering the trial. One group will receive a second intramuscular shot of the vaccine four weeks after the initial immunization. The researchers aims to determine the efficacy, safety, and the immune genesity of the candidate vaccine named Jadoxyl NCOV-19. A vaccine against meningococcal disease will be given to participants who will be randomly chosen for cultural purposes. Now coming to the overseas partners, Jadoxyl NCOV-19 is so-called recombinant viral vector vaccine. It is made from a harmless virus that's been altered to produce the surface spike protein of the pandemic causing SARS-CoV-2 virus. The vaccine acts by primary the immune system to recognize and attack the coronavirus. Stimulating a T-cell response, it uses some technology and so Gilbert's previously developed for the related Mars coronavirus. The vaccine appeared to be safe in animal and also early stage human testing, giving confidence for the coronavirus version. Gilbert's team has used the same technology for about two different vaccines, and she said that the challenge that new arise is testing vaccine even as the virus infection reads away. The World Health Organization is creating a forum for everyone developing COVID-19 vaccines to show their plans and initial findings. All about the vaccine of COVID-19. This is all about and thanks for being part of it. And I hope all of you stay safe and stay strong and fight 